Hello, and welcome back to Marwell Manor Farm, Episode 5. I'm FS Farmer 2019, and I'm excited to have you guys back. Today's going to be an exciting episode when we purchase some dairy cows. Pretty exciting. First things first, I got a couple grass square bells in the pasture that I'm going to go collect. Put them on a hay wagon and store those. And after that, it's showtime. I have $27,000. Plan on buying 10 to 15 dairy cows. Obviously, I don't have enough money for that. But that's what they make the bank for. That's why you make sure you have good credit. There's one straw bill that I'm going to leave. Come back and get it later. Right now, I'm just wanting to collect these grass bales. And it's up 38 total round bales on this hay field. If you watched the last episode, you watched me bale them, store them. And I got finished with planting. So. It's good, we got soybeans in the ground. Before too long we'll be spreading some herbicide on that on those soybeans and I've decided that I'm not gonna put any dry fertilize on those soybeans this go around or manure or slurry or anything like that I'm gonna go ahead and harvest them with that one round of fertilizer that I put in at planting just because money is a little tight right now and dry fertilizer is not cheap do plan on after the soybean harvest and I have a little extra money I uh, do plan on um, go ahead and either subsoil cultivate or harrow uh, or even plow if I have to that field and spread some lime on it also and get in tip top shape for the next planting Also, will be. I will need to spread some fertilizer on this field as well. I do have periodic um, plowing off, uh, just because it's kind of a. I wouldn't say a lost practice where I'm from, but a lot of guys around here, they very rarely deep plow their their ground. It's usually uh, strip till or no till planting. Um, they will they will run the the uh, you know the field cultivator, the ripper, that is what they call it around here, the field ripper through there. But it doesn't really go as deep as the old school plow. It doesn't really turn the dirt over. It kind of just kind of like mulches the what's on top, and you know maybe a little bit of dirt, but that's about it. I'm sure there's guys that still deep plow. I just know where I'm from. It's a little bit of a common practice. As you can see me, I'm trying to get two bales here. <laughs> and I give up on that pretty quickly. <laughs> can't remember how many grass bills I got, I want to say six. No, I got two on the trailer right now. I do want to thank you guys, I have had I guess my first uh, little bit of success on this channel on episode 3 uh, overnight I had pretty good uh, results uh, view wise and watch time wise it's kind of weird though guys episode 3 has 188 views but none of those views trickled down to any of my other videos it's kind of weird 
I fought for sure at least half of those people, but not even half, would watch that video and then possibly keep going with the playlist or, you know, click at the end screen or just check out another video. But it did. That's weird. Like, my third video has almost 200 views now. Not a lot, but a lot for me. That's awesome for me. I didn't expect that. Um, but, and then my fourth video still has like three views. So that was kind of weird. But like I said, uh, either in the last video or the video before, you know, I'm not going to let that dictate whether I keep putting out content. Um, I'm going to stay consistent just because I, I play this game a lot. I'm starting to get the hang of this editing stuff. Um, so that's not going to dictate. Views are, views are not going to dictate whether I put out content. I'm going to keep pumping them out, and I'm going to try to grow this thing. Now, you know, six months, a year from now, if I'm still getting, you know, 10, 20 views pop, and that's it, and then I might try to change something. Uh, but at least for right now, I'm not even going to get caught up in that, really. I'm just going to keep pumping out content and try to make it the best I can and hope for the best results um, on that. One more bell, so I think that gives me a total of five uh, square grass bells. Um, that's all I wanted. I just wanted to make sure to have some grass bells as backup. You know, in case I ever need them once I purchase these cows. So strap down, looking good. Cut to the sheep barn, and that's where we're gonna let those stay. Again, I don't plan on getting sheep, so I figured I already use. Might as well use that pasture and that barn as some storage. So got some straw in there. We got some grass bales in there. So yeah. All right, guys, we are ready. We have talked to the dealer. We've set up a, a pretty good deal on some dairy cows. And right now, I'm headed to the bank to talk to a loan advisor. See about borrowing some money to buy some cattle. Exciting time here. Episode 5, we are deep diving into cattle. I'm not going to buy a bunch. I'm going to try to, you know, start slow, get the hang of them. Um, generate the wealth myself without having to borrow. I don't want to have to borrow any more money than what I'm borrowing now. That's not to say I won't have to in the future. But my plan is to generate enough wealth to expand the dairy with my own money in the future. Right now, I'm using Google Maps and <laughs> I'm lost trying to find the shop. Just kidding. I'm not trying to blame it on Google Maps. I completely blame it on myself. Um, I end up going the, to the wrong building, but I ended up I do end up finding it here. Pretty packed parking lot for a small bank like that. I guess not really three cars in packed. My fault. Figured everybody else backed in, I might as well back in. I feel like I do a pretty good job right there. I'm in the line. Don't don't say I'm not in the line. Here we go. Uh, going in the bank. Go over here. Now, I decide to here I decided to go ahead and borrow a hundred and twenty thousand I believe is what I end up borrowing I felt like that was a good number for me just to get started with these dairy cows I'm 
so there we go now I got 147,000 and I'm going to rent a livestock trailer <clears throat> there's a really awesome livestock trailer mod I did not have it downloaded at the time of this video but it's pretty much kind of like this one um, except it's kind of jacked up higher and you can make it um, you can color it black you can color it stainless steel and all that good stuff uh, but like I said at the time of this video I did not have that mod out or downloaded but check that mod out guys it's a pretty awesome livestock trailer considering the one that in, is in the base game All right, quick delivery on the rental, and we're ready to roll. Again, at the time of this video, this is the first time I've really been driving around this map, so bear with me as I'm finding stuff. Did take me a little bit to find this place. Um, Finally, I'm able to locate it on the map. And here in a minute, you're going to see me make an off-road decision here. <laughs> All right, we're headed in the right direction. Headed to buy our dairy cows. I already got it lined up with the dealer. He's got them dropped off. And he's got them waiting for me to load out. All right, I end up taking this left and I don't know if I end up driving through somebody's driveway here or what, but lucky. Boom! I ran right into that gate. Let's just pretend that didn't happen, guys. Maybe got a little front end damage now on the lizard pickup. But that's why you got insurance, right? Now, I don't know what I'm doing here, guys. I made a wrong turn, obviously. I'm in somebody's, like, driveway slash front yard. So that's pretty embarrassing. Probably should have edited that out for the sake of embarrassment, but oh well. Here I end up in a pasture. I see the animal dealership and I say man I ain't turning around I'm going right through these bushes so that's what I end up doing <laughs> and I don't think anybody saw me if they did oh well so I make it through there and we arrived I'll remember that for next time We're gonna purchase our we are gonna purchase our first six dairy cows right here. And I'm actually gonna cut to where I've already made I had to make two trips. I'm going ahead and gonna cut to where um, I've made mo both trips. I am gonna show you me purchasing them. There you go. My first six black dairy cows right there pretty exciting talking about it on here for a while and I finally got her done and like I said I went ahead and cut to where I dropped off all 12 so we got our 12 dairy cows in there I'm gonna return this Joskin livestock trailer and I'm gonna get to tending to those cows for the first time. Feed, bedding, and water. Uh, those are the three essentials. And I have plenty of all three. I'm 
Now I went ahead and cut to where I had that one straw blow up out in this pasture. Went ahead and snagged it. And that's gonna be our first source of bedding for our cows. That's essential. Especially even in real life when you when you got a cow, when it's dead winter here in Indiana and I've got a cow that's about to calf, um, bedding is essential. You get that cow up and she's gonna calf, you wanna give her plenty of warm straw, dry, good bedding for her to have that calf in. Let that calf be born in, you know, in a warm, out of the wind, out of the cold climate. Let him build his strength up before you let him out. Now you can, I mean, there's a lot of people that, you know, they let their cows um, calve out in the pasture year round, and you can do that for sure. But when I'm messing with registered, you know, registered cows that are not cheap, I'm gonna take every precaution I can to make sure that there is no, it, there are no issues that, you know, when that cow is ready to calve. Still getting used to the farm as far as storage goes, and I forgot where I had um, forgot where I had stored that that bale shredder. But I'm pretty sure it's back in this this older building here, which is pretty sweet. I really don't have much in there. I don't think I think it's the only thing I have in there is that bale shredder. Yep. See it from there. What I'm going to do now, guys, is I'm going to go ahead and cut me off this audio here. I'm going to be putting bedding in. I'm going to be feeding um, hay, and I'm going to be feeding some grass bales, probably just one, and I'm going to be putting out water. I'm going to let you guys enjoy that without any audio, and I will cut back towards the end of the video. Enjoy me tending to the cows for the first time, guys.
right, so the cows are fed, got plenty of bedding, plenty of water. If you guys haven't seen the previous videos, no, I am not going to go the silage route with the cows just yet. I will eventually. Um, they will do just fine on hay and water. Most cows in real life do do just fine on hay and water. But I will do the total mixed ration eventually. I just want to, I don't want to spoil those cows on the first day, you know. Um, here shortly I'm going to click to the animal screen just to show you guys. Another thing that I'm not going to do, I'm not going to, I'm not going to fill those um, bars all the way up to where I only have to feed them every seven days of, you know, real time. I plan on feeding those cows, you know, every other day just like you would in, in real life on there as you can see they got seven thousand something hay and silage four thousand grass they won't hardly touch that plenty of bedding and plenty of water their uh, reproduction rate isn't on there just yet but i plan on leaving their food levels right where they are that way i can feed them every day or every other day um, just like you would in real life you're not gonna go you know five seven days without feeding your cows um in real life so i'm not gonna do that here thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed the video please leave your comments any thoughts that you have any suggestions leave your comments consider subscribing consider hitting that thumbs up uh, hit that notification bell in the next episode we're going to be spreading lime as well as some other things so i'm looking forward to that Again, thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.